Alright guys, I am back with another Horror Room Movie Review, and this is Jeepers Creepers from 2001. And I never actually watched this movie before today. This is the first time I watched it. I've seen bits and pieces of it on TV because I know they play it all the time. But I never really went out of my way to check it out. I guess the premise didn't really interest me or something, but I finally watched it, and I really liked it. I thought it was a well done movie, it's a fun monster movie, and it actually reminds me a lot the beginning of the movie when they're looking in the pipe reminds me a lot of the older Stephen King movies but I actually watched it on Netflix instant play so for any of you guys that have Netflix and want to check it out it's on there uh, but it had a budget of 10 million dollars made back 59 million so it was definitely a successful movie and it starts off with Trish and Derry who's played by Justin Long and they're heading home for spring break and this big ass truck gets right behind them starts riding their ass and this freaks them out, but eventually the truck does go past them. And they start talking about how these kids died in 1978 on the same highway and they never found the girl's head. So they pass this house on the side of the road and they see the truck from earlier. And they see the creeper throwing a body into this pipe. And as they drive by, the creeper sees them watching him and he just stares at him as they go by this was actually pretty creepy I really like this so he gets in his truck and he immediately comes after him and now he's really trying to run him off the road he's ramming into their car and they drive off the side of the road but they're okay and the creeper drives off and Trish and Derry are talking and Derry says we should go back to the church or to the house and find out what's in that pipe and Trish says like any normal person well let's wait until we get to town and we'll tell the police and he says well we, sh we should really go if they're alive maybe there's something we can do and this is a horrible idea they should have called the police but then we wouldn't have a movie so they decide to go back to the pipe and they pull up to the old house which is actually a church and Derry hears someone in the pipe so he starts crawling down there and Trish says you know how you're watching a horror movie and someone does something stupid and everyone hates them for it this is it actually I think that was when he said let's go back to the pipe <laughs> but Derry sees some rats he starts freaking out this causes Trish to drop him and he falls down the pipe and he hits the ground but he's okay and he tells her to flag a car or actually he starts looking around and he finds the body that the creeper dropped down there and it's some guy he's still alive but he can't talk his stomach's been cut open and then he dies and Derry runs back and tells Trish to flag down a car and have them call the police while I try to find a way out of here so he's looking around this basement and he sees more bodies and then he looks up at the ceiling something like drips on him and he looks up and the entire ceiling is covered with bodies but they look plastic like mannequins and he sees this one pair of bodies and it's the kids that died in 1978 so that was pretty good and Derry finds his way out but he's catatonic he's just in shock at what he's seen and they stop to get some gas and the truck is heading back to the church so now they're really freaking out because they know as soon as he gets back there he's gonna know they were messing around so they go in a diner and they ask him to call the police but they're acting all crazy like they're not calm they're not saying hey we need to talk to the police they're just freaking out everyone in the diner and this diner is packed full of people for some reason but the payphone rings and Trish answers it and it's some lady talking about cats she describes Derry and Trish perfectly and she tells Derry that he found his house of pain and that it's never gonna stop coming after them and she plays Jeepers Creepers for him and says that if he hears this to run because it means something terrible is going to happen so Derry tells the cops what he saw but they don't believe him one of the waitresses runs in and says someone was sniffing their clothes outside and looked like he liked it or looked like he was liking it. So the clothes are all over the parking lot. 
But at least now the cops believe them that someone's messing with them. So they head back to the old church. The cops are following them. They get a report that the church is burning down. Someone set fire to the church. And Derry hears Jeepers Creepers on the radio. And we see the cops behind them get attacked. Something jumps on the roof and just starts killing the cops. It pulls the driver up. It cuts his head off with an axe. And the head flies and hits Derry's windshield. So they stop the car and the police car behind them stops and Trish gets out and we see the creeper is in the driver's seat. He gets out of the car, he's whistling Jeepers Creepers, he picks up the cop's head and then bites his tongue and pulls it out. So they're watching all of this, now they're really freaked out. So they take off, they stop at a random house to use the phone and this old lady answers, says she doesn't have a phone, she's got a ton of cats though. And she sees the creeper standing in front of her scarecrow. So she comes out with a shotgun. She shoots the creeper. It jumps on the roof. This old lady was awesome. She goes back in her house. And we hear two more gunshots. And then the creeper comes out holding her body. So Trish and Derry take off again. The creeper's following him. They try to run him over. But he just keeps jumping over the car like a ninja. And eventually they do hit him. It looked to me like he let them hit him. But they hit him and then they run over him a bunch of times. One of his wings pops up and then falls to the ground like he's dead. So they run him over one more time and then leave. So they make it to the police station and the psychic shows up. And she's the one who called the payphone. She says every 23rd spring for 23 days it gets to eat. And Trish thinks that this lady's crazy. She just saw a monster with wings bite a severed head's tongue. But this is where she draws the line on crazy, is the psychic. So the psychic tells them that it eats things like lungs so it can breathe, eyes so it can see, and one of them has something it wants. So the lights and the phones in the police station go out and a cop is checking on the prisoners and sees the creeper eating one of them he shoots it but of course it has no effect and <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> it has no effect and the psychic has Trish and Derry follow her so that they can try to get out of the police station well all the cops and I'm talking like 20 of these guys try to kill the creeper and just get destroyed. They cannot stop this monster. Trish, Derry, and the psychic, they can't get out because once the power goes off, the doors automatically lock except for the front door which they can't get to because of the creeper. So they're pretty much trapped. Trish starts acting like a total biatch to the psychic, just talking all kinds of shit to her. And they see the creeper, and the psychic tells them to head upstairs. She stays behind. The creeper smells her, but he doesn't kill her. So the creeper shows up and grabs Derry and Trish. He throws Trish, and then more cops show up. And he has Derry. He's holding him. And Trish says, Take me instead. Whatever you want, I'll give you. Just let Derry go. And the creeper has this... Um, it was pretty cool makeup here. His face like comes apart and he screams, kind of like the predator mouth. But he screams and of course he flies off with Derry. So we see Derry and he's in this old factory. The creeper's working on him and he's turning Derry into one of these mannequins. And the camera pans up and we see he has no eyes. So the creeper was after Derry's eyes the whole time. And that was it. That was how the movie ended. So, I did think it was a really good movie. And if you haven't seen it, definitely check this one out. I'm actually looking forward to the sequel now because I really like this one a lot. Um, but yeah, it was 2001. But I think it holds up pretty well. Uh, so anyways, that was my review of Jeepers Creepers. I'll be back next week reviewing the sequel. Um, so I hope you guys like this video. Leave your thoughts on this movie in the comments. And thanks for watching.